more people have gone into space than have lived underwater. So what we were doing was really special and it was clearly like nothing I've ever done before. I would go back in a heartbeat. I was living under sea for 15 days with five other people in the Aquarius underwater habitat. Aquarius is an underwater laboratory. It's a house underwater, basically. It's bolted to the sea floor 60 feet deep in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of the Florida Keys. We were conducting research led by Fabien Cousteau, the grandson of Jacques Cousteau. We were pushing the limits of humans living underwater. We were um, doing about five different research projects. The project I was most involved in was using an edutronic high-speed video camera for the first time underwater to film the really unique feeding behaviors of animals on the reef. And it was an incredible tool. We could film creatures underwater that would move so fast that watching it in real time, you could not tell what would happen. The mantis shrimp, for example, I'd watch it and all of a sudden the shrimp would disappear and I'd see a puff of sand. But when we filmed it with the camera, we could replay the footage in slow motion and see the details. It let us understand and see the underwater world in a whole new light. Diving from the surface, you can spend uh, 45 minutes to an hour working at 60 feet. But by living under sea, our bodies are saturated with nitrogen, so we can spend as much time as we want in the water at that depth. You're here. Are you ready for this? Yeah, we're ready. Here we stumble. You need time for the fish to be accustomed to your presence there, and we had that by saturation diving. We also filmed Christmas tree worms. They blossom in the ocean as they feed, but when, when they get scared, they retract really fast. We filmed a jawfish, and a couple times an hour he'll poke his head out of his den and just spit out a mouthful of sand. And I was focused so intently on that subject that I didn't realize day had shifted to night. All of a sudden I looked up and a, a nurse shark just swam right past my leg, <laughs> saying like, oh, I was like, oh wow. I wasn't scared, but I was a little bit spooked. I just felt really one with the environment I was living in. Some nights plankton and little shrimps and little squids would swim by the window really fast, attracted by the light, and we set up the camera with a macro lens. It was basically like a microscope on front of the camera. And in high speed, you can see little creatures coming, dashing in and out of the frame. It's, it was just fascinating. Something really special about this mission was that we were not only able to do cutting edge research, but we were also connecting with people around the world. So every day, each of us Aquanauts would do at least one Skype in the classroom session with kids of all ages. Thank you. This mission has made my love for the ocean and my respect for the ocean even deeper. The ocean has been my home for 15 days, and now I am dedicated to using my skills in engineering to help us better understand and protect the oceans.